In this tutorial, we're going to take the clothing from the free Unreal Asset Primitive Man on the left and put it on the MetaHuman on the right. I'm using the free City of Brass set that you can also get free on the marketplace. Okay, first let's grab our free assets and download them to our project. Uh, we're going to take the primitives free for the month character pack and we're going to go in the marketplace and also get the free City of Brass set for our background. You don't necessarily have to do that. Obviously, there's a lot of free assets. Add to our project. This is a 5.0 resource and we're going to use it in our 5.3 so you have to show all projects because it won't come up by itself. And you select your project, which I'm using MetaTailor Tutorial 5.0 for the resource, add it, download it. Now that we have it in there, we'll go select our primitive man number one from the pack. We want to go to the mesh and in the mesh primitive one, you have the full character and you have all the separate meshes. We're going to take all the separate meshes and send them to MetaTailor. So first thing we're going to do is get the skeletal meshes for all the clothing items we want and extract them and get them ready to export to MetaTailor. Now that we've selected them and extracted them, we're going to take them one by one and export them to a file. And then we'll use that file to import into MetaTailor. So we're gonna take them one item at a time and we're gonna put we're going to select it and then to export selected because you want them all as separate FBX files. Also, you want to uncheck all the boxes when you do the export because we don't need anything but the raw FBX file. Next step, we want to select our MetaHuman. Now, there is a lot of standard ones. I have my own MetaHumans and we're going to use one that I created specifically for this, for this clothing. So, import that and select that avatar extract it make sure you zero it out so you take all the transform information zero it out then you want to select it export selected and place it in a file I call it a Taylor avatar okay now you have your clothing and your avatar extracted open up meta Taylor bring in your meta human avatar from where we just saved it we're gonna import the clothing piece by piece well, first thing we're going to do is set up the avatar. So you're going to do a few adjustments. Uh, there's another tutorial from MetaTailor that goes through the specifics, is, but it's fairly easy and fairly intuitive. So once you get your avatar all set up, you want to bring it in, select it rather, and start importing the clothes. We'll start piece by piece, the bag. Next step, we're going to put it in the jacket file, or so select it as a jacket. Next step, do all the transform to get it where we want it. Once we do that, we'll hit next step again. Okay, take a look at it. If it's in the right place, we go to the next piece of clothing, import it. This is a shoulder piece. We're gonna select it as a jacket, same thing. Next step, do the all the adjustments. Get it where we want it. Once we get it there, we hit confirm. And then next step in our next piece of clothing. We're going to do this leather skirt. Next step, we're going to call this skirt. Next step, then we're going to do the transform, get it adjusted to the right size and location. Once you're done, confirm and next step. Bring in our next piece of clothing. Also, you can adjust the hierarchy here too. It, you know, so we're going to put the bag outside of the skirt and underneath the shoulder pads. So you put on the left, you put, you select the, the hierarchy on how you want the clothing. So this one's a little bit different. Uh, we have to do some adjustments on this one. So let's get everything set up so we can see it. These are sleeves. So we're going to take the sleeves, move them around, and get them to the right scale. And once we get them close, we do confirm. And then we do a thing called pose match. Okay, that's, this is where we're going to fine tune the arms to fit into the sleeves. And this is something that you have to just play with a little bit. And also there's a little mirror box up there. You need to uncheck it. Sometimes you need to uncheck it because you need to move the, the arms in different directions. Okay, once you're done, confirm, next step. 
And we'll bring in the next piece of clothing to the top. Next step. Jacket selection. Next step. And then the transform. Put it where you want it. Once you get it close, you can do confirm. Next step. And then you want to do the hierarchy to make sure that the bag, we want the bag on the outside, but on the inside of the shoulder. So we move our clothing to where we set the hierarchy so that some of the clothing is outside the other clothing. Okay, next we're going to bring in the necklace. Again, I set this as shirt and just do the adjustments. Put it where you want it, get the scale right. And then again, once we put it on there, we'll adjust the hierarchy to make sure that the necklace is on the outside of the other clothing. Okay, next piece of clothing is the pants. So we select pants, next step. Do the scale location. Get the transform where we want it. And we're done, confirm, next step. Okay, now we gotta move the pants. We want the pants underneath the other stuff, so we'll move the pants down. Now the pants will be underneath the other articles of clothing. our next boots go to next step select shoes next step transform it's close confirm now we want to do the pose matching move the toes a little bit to get them inside the shoes okay that looks good Confirm and next step. Okay, looks pretty good so far. Now we have these bones that we're gonna add. I brought them in as separate articles. So let's imp start importing the little bone things on his shoulder and wrists. It's the same thing. Bring it in, adjust it, put it where you want it confirm a next step when you're done. Oh, it's off a little bit. Let's get this adjusted a little bit better here. It looks good. Confirm next step. Okay, let's put his wrist bones on. So let's import those. Yeah, those line up pretty well. Confirm next step. Okay. And we get these little wool pieces that go on the top of the wrist leather things. So same thing, adjust them down, get them where you want them, get them close. Once you get them close, let's see, adjust a little more. That looks pretty good. Now we're gonna go confirm. And now I think we've got them all complete. So we wanna export them. Okay, first thing you want to do is we don't want to export the avatar. We turn that off. We name the file. Put it where you want it so that you can bring it into Unreal. Okay, now let's import the outfit. Make a folder called wardrobe so that we don't confuse ourselves. Well, confuse me. I get confused. So I'm going to make a wardrobe and we'll open that up. We'll import the file from MetaTailor we just made. Now you need to select FBX because this thing will hang if you don't call it an FBX. That's just an unreal thing. I don't know why. It could be a cockpit error. And then you skeletal mesh, import mesh. You want the base metahuman skeleton and import it. Now you have it imported and you want to select the skeletal mesh and get the materials from your primitive material file. Go to materials, get number one, and then you just start lining it up. Primitive outfit one goes to primitive outfit one. It's all self-explanatory. Just read the material and then read the slot. Make sure you get the right one in the right slot. Get some wool in the wool. Outfit to the outfit. Wool to the wool. 
And now we have a MetaHuman outfit. Save it. Okay, now let's select MetaHuman and dress him. So open the blueprint. I like to use viewport so I can see. First thing, go to the feet, take the flip-flops off. Just clear, go skeletal mesh, hit clear. And go to torso, put the outfit that we just built onto the MetaHuman, select it in the skeletal mesh. Sit, compile and save the MetaHuman on the right. That's it.